Hey there everybody, this is Matt Holtquist of the QuickBooks University. I wanted to show you how to uh, pay bills in QuickBooks 2014. Um, and it's a pretty straightforward process. You can see here I've got the pay bills screen up on the screen here in QuickBooks 2014. Now what I want to do though is I want to go to the home page because I want to show you how to get to where I was. Okay, now the pay bills function is pretty important in QuickBooks. Um, if you've seen my other videos on entering bills, you want to make sure that you enter the bills appropriately so that you can keep track of all the bills that you have to pay. Okay, so here in QuickBooks, once you enter the bills and it helps you keep track of what you have to pay in QuickBooks, okay, you're going to go in and pay those bills. Okay, so it's a very uh, easy process of entering your bills and then paying your bills. So you can see here on the home screen we've got the enter bills and we've got the pay bills. Okay, so you can simply click on that uh, or you can go up here to the vendors drop down menu and click on pay bills. Okay, two different ways to get there. So we're going to click on pay bills and you'll see here it brings up the pay bill screen. Okay, and a couple of things here, you can sort, you can show the bills that are due on or before a certain date, or you can show all the bills. Uh, you can filter them, and you can sort them. Okay, so some people sort by the due date, some sort by the vendor. Personally, I like to do it by the due date, so I know what's coming up and what's due. So you'll see here you've got the due date, the vendor, if there's a reference number, a discount date, amount due, etc. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to choose to pay Cal Gas and Electric, City of Bayshore, you know, we're going to pay these bills that are coming up through January 14th. Okay, so you'll see when you check this off, it puts the amount to pay over here. Okay, now, if for some reason you don't want to pay the whole balance, maybe you're disputing it, maybe you just have to pay it in chunks, let's say that Perry Windows and Doors, we can only pay $1,500 right now. What you can do is go over to this far right column and just highlight that and change that to $1,500. Okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to leave the remaining balance in this pay bill screen. Okay? So down here, when you've got one of these highlighted, uh, you'll see down here you can actually go to the bill. Okay, If there is a discount, you can set the discount. And then if they have credits, you can put, apply the credits to the bill. And down here, the payment date, you're going to put it to the date that you're paying it. The payment method, we're going to do check, but if you drop this down, you'll see that you can do online bank payment or credit card. I get a lot of questions from people, okay, well I'm paying a bill by credit card, how do I show that? Well, you can just simply click credit card. And then you're going to choose the credit card that you're using. Okay. We're going to change this back to check. And you'll see here you have a to be printed and an assigned check number and then what account it's coming out of. So first of all, you want to say it's coming out of the, you know, we're going to say it's coming out of this checking account. And if you assign check number, what I typically do is the reason I use that is if I'm doing online bill pay through my bank, let me get rid of this here, then I will use assigned check number. Or if you handwrite checks, you do assigned check number. Okay, if you're going to print them from QuickBooks, then you do to be printed. But for this purpose, we're going to do a sign check number, okay, since we're not going to um, print them. So once you're all set, you say, okay, pay selected bill, bills, and since you set a sign check number, you have to assign the check number. So if you hand wrote these, you're going to put in the, the check number for those handwritten checks. Uh, since I do it online and I pay my bills online through my online banking, I usually put EFT, which means electronic funds transfer. Some people put debit, and other people even put OBP for online bill pay. Okay? I'll just say right now we're going to do EFT. It's just 
something you can put anything in here, but it's just a way for you to signify the, the way it was paid, some way that you're going to remember. Okay, you click OK. And you'll see the payment summary. It shows you all the bills that were paid, and you can either pay more bills or done. Okay, we're going to say done, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Okay, so one important thing to remember, though, is that when you uh, do uh, pay your bills online, let's say you pay them through your online banking like I do, just make sure you go into QuickBooks and signify that those bills were paid. Okay, so there's kind of a two-step process there. That way you'll remember to clear all those bills uh, out of QuickBooks that need to be paid. All right. Well, that'll do it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like the full QuickBooks training tutorial course uh, using QuickBooks 2014 to show you everything you need to know about QuickBooks and how to use it in your business and how to even you know use it to its fullest extent to help you analyze your business and run it better and make more money, go to the QuickBooks University, which is at qbuniversity.org. We have 38 training videos there and uh, different levels of membership. It's a great resource, and I'm there to answer all your questions. Thanks again, and we will see you soon.